since you weren't on the bottle. You were such a wonderful lover. You'll be late. You were so exciting to be in love with. Mostly, I guess, because you were... If I thought you'd never, never make love to me again, I... 
Why, it'd find me the longest, sharpest knife I could, and I'd stick it straight into my heart. I'd do that. Oh, Brick, how long does this have to go on, this punishment? Haven't I served my term? Can't I apply for a pardon? Maybe that finishing school horse yours sounds like you was running upstairs to tell somebody the house was on fire. Is it any wonder? You know what I feel like? I feel all the time like a cat on a hot tin roof. Then jump off the roof, Maggie, jump off it. Our cats jump off roofs and they land uninjured. Do it, jump. Jump where? Into what? Take a lover. I don't deserve that. I can't see any man but you. With my eyes closed, I just see you. Oh, why can't you get ugly, Brig? Why can't you please get fat or ugly or something so I can stand it? Well, you make out fine. Your kind always does. Oh, I'm more determined than you think. I'll win, all right. Win what? What is uh, the victory of a cat on a hot tin roof? Just stand on it, I guess. Long as she can. of my very closest friends. It was the kind of a party where you have cold cuts and young people. Actually, it was quite a do. Not only did we have the 18,000 plus in the garden, but there must have been 35 million or so people that were watching at home on television.
course, Elizabeth didn't bake the cake. But who could you find Part better of keeping you on the run? On the run? First we came from Mexico, then we went to California, then we came to New York, then we went back to California, then we came to Chicago, then we went back to California, then we have a house in Palm Springs. Then we left Chicago last night at 9 o'clock this morning. And um, here we are. Uh, where to next? Well, we're going to Europe for about three months. They're having the Cannes Festival over there. Mike's little old picture's going to show. Is it? Mm-hmm. How surprising and how wonderful. Must have startled him, huh? <laughs> Liz, Liz, what about your own career? Uh, are you going to continue making movies or just uh, be a housewife? Well, I couldn't really... Um care less about making movies, to tell you the truth. I consider it much more important to be a good woman than a great actress, or any kind of an actress. There's your answer, Todd. I'll get even with you for what you said about me being an actor. (laughs) Shall I really answer? Well, I think he's the uh, nicest person I've ever lived with. (laughs) No, he's a wonderful man. He has uh, everything that you could possibly want. He has a wonderful sense of humor. I don't want him to hear this because no. his head is big enough as it is. Yes, it is. And he's very generous and he's very sympathetic. But I think the most wonderful thing of all is that he's a marvelous cook. So <laughs> that saves me from the kitchen. You know, that that's one thing I can attest to. He really can cook. He can. He's My wonderful. 